Locations. Yeah. All right. It's a pretty scenic area. Creek right there, all these big boulders, outcrops up here. So we're going to cross this creek probably right there, make our way up on that plateau through the woods. On the other side should be another mine opening, hopefully. Uh, so anyway, very, very scenic, peaceful. Okay, so we came about 500 feet to the west of uh, the mine we had checked out uh, earlier. There's a uh, tramway line right here that comes, uh, went all the way around the ravine, probably across a small wooden tramway trestle to the loading dock of the slope mine that's about 500 feet uh, to the east. So, but this was, I don't have any information on this mine. But whether it's a sister mine, they, they were connected with the tramway line, so it's uh, more than likely this is connected. But it looks like a drift, but uh, you've got the tailings pile right there where the backpack is. So the trail, there's another, this tramway line continues on around the side of this. It's not a high ridge. It's about 650 feet in uh, above sea level elevation, so it's not too bad woods are easy to navigate which is always a pleasure but uh, anyway the mine is open and shined a light down in there and you can already see water so I'll go down there in just a minute just to see how deep it is or can you navigate around it but probably not likely with all these heavy rains so but anyway it uh, came you know came right to the next mine so we'll uh, get down there in just a second. Okay, so coming in to this uh, other mine, that's about 500 feet from the one we came out of. And uh, you can see it's a huge difference from the basically granite, stone, hard, you know, hardened shale to sandstone and limestone. I mean, sandstone and clay which does not give a lot of good uh, support, but you do have the coal seam here. And that's as far as you can go. That is completely flooded. Probably from all these, you know, we've had several months of basically weekly heavy downpours. And I have no information on this mine, none. So this is a mystery, the mystery mine. So, but that's pretty deep, I can tell you that. Uh, that's probably anywhere from eight to 10 feet deep right there. So, but the walls and everything looks pretty structurally sound if the water wasn't in here. But anyway, uh, we do have a couple more in this area that we're gonna check out. So, but this was only 500 feet to the west of, uh, the mine we, we checked out earlier, so. All right. I'll make my way back on up out. So we had to hike uh, 500 more feet to the west. And uh, this is another, another mine right here. We've got a couple more to check out. They were all connected by a tramway line. But uh, that's, that's a pretty big opening. Yeah, look. Okay. Got a piece of rail right here. Yeah, look at that. Mr. Box got some tramway rail, so that's pretty good. Hadn't been three for three in a long time. So get down there and check that out. And Mr. Box got that tramway rail right there. And it's all. Okay, here's this piece of tramway rail that Mr. Box found. Now that is, that is a very, very small minecart tramway rail. I mean, it's in perfect condition too. No rust and uh, 
mine's straight ahead here. So, see what it looks like. Oh man. Wow. That's uh I didn't see any water. That's that's pretty big. Yeah. Uh wow, a lot bigger than I thought. But uh anyway, it's the same type setup. Hardened uh sandstone, clay. Very interesting. And we're probably maybe twelve hundred feet from the original the slope mount we went in, which is the topography was definitely different, so just changes in geology it's amazing so we'll go down there and check it out okay so uh mr box he's already gone in to this mine uh, i just have no information on this i know they were all connected owned by the same company so whether this is a drift or a slope, I mean, this was a huge opening at one time. So you can see it's just like the other one, it's majority sandstone. So, uh, oh yeah, man, you can see the coal seam right there. This mine's been open a long time. I mean, you know, I mean, since it's opening, I mean, but you can look at all that moss right there mold moss right there it's even on the coal seam so mr box yeah it looks completely dry in there i mean that is a wide haulage way so let me drop down in there and chase up mr box well all right this isn't a drift mine this is a slope mine right there I'm not sure if that's the water right there or not, but there's a timber support. So, huh. get a little attic right there. So, all right, we'll head on, head on down there. Hey, I got the opening back up there. Yeah, definitely a slope mine. You got the old timber support right there, timber prop. Right there, still in place. Cold seam. Huh. Wow, that almost looks like that's a par parallel slope back through there. Huh. That's very interesting. Anyway, we'll check that out later, maybe. Anyway. Uh, here's some of the uh, cross ties for the mine carts right here. Oh, you got about uh, a good seven feet of headroom right here. Outstanding. Outstanding. So, here's uh, some more right there. Uh, that's, that's probably. That's, Man, that's, that could be between four and five feet thick, that coal seam right there. Yeah, you can definitely, water's channeling right down over these minecart rails. So. Looks like this thing keeps going too. I guess Mr. Box, he's way on down there. That, that looks like a part of a metal pipe or some cast iron pipe maybe. But there's the cross ties right there. All right, we'll just reposition a little further down. You got kind of a crude stacked rock wall right there. So. All right, man, still got some Excellent head rent, man. Outstanding. Oh, Mr. Box, good. He left a glow stick. So, looks like he's bared off to the left there. Yeah, that's a good four to five foot coal seam right there.
Okay, there's his bag. He's veered off on this uh, left haulage way right here. All right. We'll go, I think the water may be down there. We'll find out. Okay, so that intersection where Mr. Box went off to the left. I'm just gonna walk down here on the main slope for a little ways. Just see what's down here. Good airflow. I mean, uh, good climate control in here. I mean, it's about 50 degrees, which is actually perfect. You see, they blocked up that little attic right there. Okay, so we're about a good 500 plus feet down. And there's the water. So, you can see they worked that at it and then they blocked it up right there. So, So down here, the rest of the slope is forever. The mine is forever underwater right here. That's some cable wires right there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the water right there. Far as you can go. I have no information on these mines right here. Alright. So we're gonna head back up there. Dropped a glow stick, letting him know if he comes out. I see that glow stick and I came down this way. So I'll go back up there where he's at. We'll see what's what. Okay, so came back up here with Mr. Box and taken off on that left haulage way. So he he came out and he's checking a few other things out. There's a uh, drill mark right there, right there. So uh, man, these bats are not happy. You got an old uh, wooden timber support there, timber prompt. Okay. Oh yeah. Here's a, here's a mine car tracks right here. Huge difference. Uh, that keeps going. That'll go all the way down to the water. Yeah, that Batman, he ain't happy. But uh, that's pretty neat. They're still in place. Sometimes you just don't see these. And the coal mines, they've taken everything out. So, anyway, those are old, early 1900s. Right there. All right. There you go, same. All right, we'll head over this way. Okay, so I came over that pile. And, uh, Got a small adit right there. Looks like way up there, there's some timber props. Right down here, you still got the cross ties in place. And, uh, got uh, some kind of can. It almost looks like a small carbide, the flint can right there. Interesting. See with the minecart cross ties on. 
Yeah, they pulled them out. Boy, them bats ain't happy. So, yeah, nice cold seam right here. Good top cover. Yeah, so we'll go down there for just a second, then we'll come on back, leave the bats alone. So, nice piece of cold mining history right here. Yeah, these bats are not happy. But uh, you can tell these are some crude uh, cross ties. You can see uh, the knot from the uh, trees it has cut the smallest limbs down. That's what they used. So. Huh. There's another bucket right there. Right where my light is. Well, you can stand up. Yeah, look at them bats, man. I ain't too happy. All right, all right, boys. I'll be out of here in just a second. Y'all can go back to sleep. In fact, I think what I'm gonna just leave them, I'll leave them right there. But hey, you got a nice intersection here. See all the cross ties there. All right, boys, don't worry about me. All right, yeah, they ain't too happy. All right, all right, well, we'll, we'll, let, them, we'll let them be here. Look at them, man, they are not happy. All right. Well, there's some airflow coming back in. All right, so we'll go ahead and head on back. Leave the uh, bats alone. I think Mr. Box stirred them up. Okay, so uh, come on back up here to the starting point. It's uh, all it takes is two people. Uh, when you got moist weather outside, and your body heat can just start fogging this mine up. You know, doesn't doesn't take 30 minutes. But uh, anyway, that's the one I saw when I came down in. You see that? Yeah. So. He has no problem doing this. No problem, man. He could have been a tunnel rat in Vietnam. All right, let's see what he finds. Anything good? Well, it's a parallel slope or something. Yeah, another insulator. Wow. All right. That completely collapsed up here at the top. All right. Um, let me venture down just a few. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, he's going to venture down and I uh, found this uh, incredible intact insulator. You don't even normally find these. You know, you can see it screws on there. That. I had to take that back, clean it up. That's that's that may be one of the we've seen several bigger ones, but that's a pretty big insulator for the time period, electrical insulator. So anyway, I'll wait on him to come back out. Okay, so Mr. Box, he's coming on back out. So we have walked along this low ridge line about starting with the first one every 25, 600 feet separation so there's more than likely that these are all interconnected they're on the same coal seam 
they're on the same coal seam, so operated by the same company. Just don't have any information on the mines that we're in right now. So, right, here it comes. All right, we'll, we'll wait for him to come on out, and then we're gonna head back out to the daylight. Okay, so we're coming on out. This was a pretty sizable coal slope mine. I mean, pretty sizable. So, but anyway, we'll make it on up out of here, take a break, and we're gonna go. I think we got two more mines that are along this system to check out. So, 